uniform speed and non-uniform speed. Observe the motion of the car displayed here. We observe that the car is covering a distance of 10 meters in every one second. That is, the car is moving with uniform speed. Thus, if a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, irrespective of direction of motion, then it is said to be moving with uniform speed. In other words, the body is undergoing uniform motion. When a body moves with uniform speed, then the total distance traveled by the body in a certain time interval is given by the relationship distance traveled is equal to uniform speed into time interval or S is equal to V into T where S is the distance traveled, V is the uniform speed and T is the time taken. The movements of the planets around the Sun is uniform motion. Non-uniform speed Observe the motion of the car displayed here. We observe that the car is covering unequal distances in equal intervals of time. That is, the car is moving with non-uniform speed or it is undergoing non-uniform motion. Now observe the rubber ball that is dropped from a certain height. When the ball is dropped from a height onto the floor, it bounces off to a certain height. In subsequent bounces, the height keeps on decreasing. Here the ball does not cover equal distances in equal intervals of time. That is, the ball is moving with non-uniform speed. Thus, if a body covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time or equal distances in unequal intervals of time irrespective of direction of motion then the body is said to be moving with non-uniform speed when a body travels with non-uniform speed then the average speed of the body is given by the formula average speed is equal to total distance traveled by total time taken